The Ghana Investment Promotion Center, GIPC, says the first quarter of 2020 saw a 400% jump in foreign direct investments in the country. This is despite the emergence of COVID-19, which saw some businesses in bauxite, tourism, and uh, as well as other fields come to a halt. CEO of the GIPC, Yuri Grant, says it is time to look at companies that will sustain the economy around this time and for which incentives have to be provided. He added the strategy is also to look at improving infrastructure and technology in preparation for an FDI boom. Yuri Grant spoke with Odilia Ntiamwa. I think that Ghana is rather in a position where we should be looking at um, the whole 100 billion could be a target for Ghana alone not Africa. Because like I said, we do have the resources. What we have found wanting indigenously is the capital to develop a lot of these things. But we can attract investors with partnerships and linkages. And I believe that we have enough opportunity to absorb the 100 billion in the next five to 10 years to build our infrastructure, to build our education, to build our health, to build uh, social services and, uh, and, and build our communities, our smart cities, etc we'll probably be able to take that $100 billion, Ghana alone. So I'm not sure it's time now to say that you should put a cap on um, uh, foreign investment. Foreign investment, from my viewpoint, is about partnerships. Gone are those days of exploitation. Mm -hmm. I mean, gone are those days where people just plunged in and then took out and that was it. Now, we have foreign direct investment bringing in real capital, building businesses, and those businesses are not there fly-by-night businesses that they come in and they go out. There are businesses that want continuity because that's how they make their money. Um, and, and so to the extent that the kind of reforms and the kind of relationships and the kind of contracts we sign um, guarantee that we have sustainable financing, then I think that it's a wrong time to say we should cap foreign direct investment to Africa. On the contrary, I think Africa needs to tell its story better we need to reposition better. We need to write contracts that are beneficial to us. Not just to the investor, but to us as well. Because that's the reason why you attract money. I mean, if you come to build a business, then it must employ my people, it must create jobs, and it must be sustainable. Um, so those are the kind of things that I expect going forward, that Africa would do better. And um, as, as the director representing Africa on the World Association of Investment Promotion Agencies, I mean, one of the things that I muted in our last um, steering committee meeting was the issue of incentives. That we should apply our incentives uh, for responsible investors, those who can guarantee sustainability, those who can ensure that they are really locked into the local economies and create sustainable partnerships. That is where we should have a better use of our incentives. And you think this is the time? Oh, I think this is the time going forward.